side. Let's kick things off with what matters most, gaming performance. The RTX 5090 comes out swinging with Nvidia's latest Ada Lovelace architecture. This thing is an absolute beast, boasting a ridiculous amount of CUDA cores and a massive boost in clock speeds. In plain English, more frames baby, we're talking buttery smooth gameplay at 4K resolution with all the bells and whistles turned on, ray tracing, DLSS, you name it, the RTX 5090 handles it all without breaking a sweat. In our tests we consistently saw frame rates that would make even the most demanding gamers drool. Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K with ray tracing and DLSS, over 100 FPS, easy. Microsoft Flight Simulator pushing your system to the limit, the RTX 5090 laughs in its face, delivering breathtaking visuals without a hint of stutter. This is the kind of performance that redefines what's possible in PC gaming. Now before you go crowning the RTX 5090 as the undisputed champion, let's not forget about the Radeon RX 8900 XT. AMD's top-of-the-line GPU comes packing some serious heat of its own, ready to challenge Nvidia's dominance. Built on the RDNA 3 architecture, the RX 8900 XT boasts a significant boost in raw power compared to its predecessors. We're talking a massive increase in stream processors, faster clock speeds, and a redesigned memory subsystem. This translates to impressive performance gains, even when compared to the mighty RTX 5090. While it might not quite reach the same stratospheric heights as the RTX 5090 in every scenario, the RX 8900 XT is no slouch. We're still talking about a GPU that can handle 4K gaming at high refresh rates without breaking a sweat. In our tests it traded blows with the RTX 5090, delivering incredibly smooth and responsive gameplay. And let's not forget about AMD's Fidelity FX technology, which offers its own set of image-enhancing tricks. It might not be as full-featured as NVIDIA's DLSS, but it still delivers a noticeable boost in visual fidelity without tanking your frame rate. The RX 8900 XT might not always win the battle, but it's definitely a worthy contender in the fight for GPU supremacy. Section 4 Power and Price The real world hits hard. Both of these GPUs are absolute monsters in performance. But let's talk about power consumption and price. Not everyone has an endless budget for their gaming rig and you don't want your electricity bill to look like the national debt. The RTX 5090 is a power-hungry beast. It can suck down over 450 watts of power. You'll need a beefy power supply. Expect your energy bill to take a hit. The RX 8900 XT is more power efficient. It draws around 350 watts under load. Now let's talk about the price. Neither of these GPUs is affordable. The RTX 5090 is expected to launch at an eye-watering price. The RX 8900 XT is slightly cheaper, it could be a more attractive option for gamers. Section 5, The Verdict, Which GPU Wins Your Rig? So after all that which GPU comes out on top? Well as always the answer is, it depends. If you're a hardcore gamer with deep pockets and you demand the absolute best performance no matter the cost, then, the RTX 5090 is the clear winner. It's an absolute beast of a GPU that can handle anything you throw at it. But, if you're on a slightly tighter budget or you're simply looking for the best value for your money, the RX 8900 XT is an incredibly compelling option. It delivers amazing performance that's not that far off from the RTX 5090, and it does it while being a bit easier on your wallet and your power bill. Ultimately, the best GPU for you comes down to your individual needs and priorities. Consider your budget, your desired level of performance, and the games you play most often. Section 6. Join the Battle share your thoughts that's it for our epic gpu showdown we've looked at the specs the benchmarks and the real world implications of owning either of these monstrous graphics cards but now we want to hear from you which gpu are you leaning towards and why let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like subscribe and ring that bell for more awesome tech content see you in the next one